the number of banks will continue to decline until what is left is the central bank, only one bank. Now we've had this before in the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union is the prime example of a centralized economy with central planners in charge and you have one central bank and the central planners are most powerful and they have a centrally planned economy. Now this doesn't deliver success. The decentralized system, it's empirically very well established, is far more successful, more efficient, more effective, and more resilient to shocks. It's right. more flexible, and the decisions are likely to be better if you've got 100,000 loan officers in thousands of banks making these small decisions. The aggregate result is going to be far superior to 10 central planners making the decision how much money to create, who to give it to.